In this video I'm going to show you how I integrated a cable operated aero bar brake with my hydraulic disc brakes. This is just a standard aero bar brake handle that's cable actuated. The cable goes to the handlebars and the cable sheath gets clamped in this clamp that I made while the cable passes through a hole I drilled in the brake handle. It was a little tricky drilling the hole in the brake handle because it was kind of a steep angle. So I'm using a Dremel here to create a flat spot and then I went back with my drill to drill the hole. The center of my hole is about 10 millimeters away from the edge of the bars so when I make my cable retainer I'll use those dimensions. Here's the cable retainer that I made and I use the shifter to also help prevent the cable retainer from sliding on the handlebars. This is the clip I made that connects to the cable, which allows it to pull on the brake handle. The air brake handle goes together just as normal. These aero bars have internal cable routing, so I'm just feeding the cable sheath through and installing the cable. I have a cable adjuster installed on my cable clamp. So I'm installing the cable through that, through the brake handle, and into this bracket that I made. I'm using a brass barrel clamp to cinch down the cable. And eventually I'll make this part out of aluminum, but for now the plastic has been working. The brake handle is all riveted together, so I designed my plastic bracket to just click into place without disassembling the handle. I tightened the cable, made sure it worked trimmed it and crimped on a cable end. I've been using this aero bar brake for about three months now and I did have one failure. The cable clamp that I made broke. So I redesigned it to be a little bit thicker and made it out of black plastic which looks a little nicer. I'll post a link in the description below with the files that I created to make these parts and if you have a CNC at home you can cut those out. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching.